In recent years, scientists have successfully identified the human fingerprint on hot years, heat waves, and a range of other temperature extremes around the world. But as everyone knows, climate change affects more than just temperature. The signal of human-induced climate change is not always clear in other weather events, such as cold snaps or episodes of extreme rainfall. Three new studies, released today as part of a special edition of the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society, take a closer look at two such events, both of which happened in southern Australia in mid-2016, the frost that hit Western Australia's southwest and the extremely wet weather that hit much of southeastern Australia during that year's winter and early spring. Perhaps surprisingly, Western Australia's frosts showed a fingerprint of climate change, due to changes in weather patterns. Meanwhile, there was very little climate change signal in the extreme rainfall that hit the southeast. Read more, Unnatural Disasters, How We Can Spot Climate's Role in Specific Extreme Events. While there is a clear human-driven upward trend in Australia's average temperatures and the future of southern Australia is projected to be dry in the cool seasons, last year Australia experienced its wettest winter and September on record. Meanwhile, September in Western Australia's southwest brought up to 18 frost nights across the region, the most on record in some locations. An increasing temperature trend would limit the number of extreme cold events, and broadly speaking this is true for Australia. So what caused the record frost risk in southwest Western Australia in September 2016? For the Northern Hemisphere, a wobbly jet stream has been proposed as the cause of periodic blasts of extreme cold weather. In this theory, human-driven changes to atmospheric circulation cause Arctic air to temporarily extend southwards over populated areas, bringing Arctic weather in spite of the background warming trend. But this kind of theory hasn't been examined in depth for Australia. During southwest and western Australia's bout of September frosts, the atmospheric pressure was generally very high, and the skies were clear. What's more, that month featured a particularly persistent weather pattern of slow-moving high pressure west of Australia, which brought in cold air from the south. The question is whether human-induced climate change is altering the circulation to make these conditions more likely. Research led by Michael Groves addressed this question by comparing climate models that describe the current, human-altered climate, and ones that leave out the influence of human-produced greenhouse gases. Their results suggest that human-induced climate change is indeed changing the circulation patterns in our region, making this particular pattern more likely. They also suggest that it's a fine balance between increasing average temperatures and these altered circulation patterns in this part of Australia. In the models, daily minimum temperatures were not colder in the current climate than in those models without a human influence. This suggests that the two effects may cancel out, as far as extreme frost is concerned, although more work is needed to understand this intriguing possibility.